Hi, I'm this guy. I bought some of this on one of these with a couple of those on it to do I don't really know what. But I have lofty goals and little money, so I give you low budget, high desert. Hello and welcome back. As you can see, I'm down here at the property again and I got the chainsaw up and running. So, made good on my thread in the last video. Cut down dead stuff hanging from the path that you see around there, so I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you more when I actually get down to it. And just to prove that I'm telling the truth and it's not movie magic, it works! Alright, so here behind me you see one of the worst offenders, this big, dry, dead guy that is blocking my path and the things that I'm carrying up and down every time I go up the hill. So, I'm just going to go around and uh, clear things like this. Things that are on the main trail and little game trails and basically just anywhere I need to go. Dead branches overhanging the cabins. So, let's get started. chainsaw for things like that, but I have a chainsaw and I want to, so I'm going to. You know, after looking at these ones that I was planning on cutting down up here by the cabin, I also noticed that they are hanging over the cabin and these are pretty big. And I don't really have a plan for how to get them down or to keep them from breaking my roof or anything like that. These are dead, but I think I need to consult someone who knows better than me on how to do that safely without hurting myself or my property. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What bad can happen, right? It's already trashed. Well, I don't want it to become more trash. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I think that I'm going to leave these branches alone. Maybe just go cut some stuff that's down there in the bush. I do need some trails in there. <laughs> 